If you've done any amount of driving this year, you've likely encountered them. Potholes. Yeah, they happen every year. But if your vehicle happens to get damaged by one on a provincial road, you'll likely hit a dead end trying to get any compensation from the province. We pay some of the highest taxes in Canada and we have to pay for safeties for our vehicle to be safe for the road. The road should be safe for us to drive on. Jade Boothat was driving her car in early March when it happened. Her vehicle hit a deep pothole driving past Windsor on Highway 101. I tried swerving to avoid the potholes on the left and right side and just wasn't able to. And uh, I got an alert on my vehicle that um, there was damage to the, the front driver's side wheel and I pulled over immediately and there was a complete cut down my tire, it was destroyed. Boot Hat made a claim for pothole damage to the province and about a month later received a response from Service Nova Scotia that her claim was denied. The reason, well, it turns out somebody had reported that exact same pothole the week before and that activated what's known as a standard of 14 days to repair, meaning the amount of time the province gives itself to fix potholes once it becomes aware of them hadn't yet passed. My problem is, is that there's no way for me to refute those claims. I have no idea if the first call was within 14 days or not. Boot Hat isn't alone in getting rejected for compensation from the province. Data from the last five years shows the vast majority of people making a claim with the province for pothole damage get denied. In 2022, for example, there were 935 pothole claims. Only 105 of them were paid. Four years ago, the Premier of the day considered the possibility of bringing in a third-party pothole adjudicator. The NDP leader at the time suggested the province make public posts about potholes and hazards on provincial roads. But those discussions stopped two weeks later because the COVID-19 state of emergency was declared. And the current Premier isn't planning on rebooting the issue. It's not something that has been on my radar at the moment. Opposition leaders feel differently. Boot Hat was left with a nearly $1,000 bill between the cost to tow her vehicle and the repairs to her wheel. You working class people are being squeezed and there's a pile of potholes uh, in Nova Scotia that does a lot of damage to people's cars and that process right now is geared toward saying no to people and not giving them money. You know, right now all those people who need to drive, who can't afford uh, most things, probably including, you know, the cost of the gas to put in their car, are then being doubly penalized by this government when, uh, when their car is, you know, in some way destroyed by a pothole. Boot Hat says she supports the idea of a third party adjudicator, but for now she plans to appeal the province through existing channels. Angelique Patil, CBC News, Halifax.